everyone. Welcome to Shell Sugar Rush. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be making an adorable unicorn cake along with a smash cake and some unicorn cupcakes for a very special little lady's first birthday. So if you enjoy things like this, stick around and watch me put it all together. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos in the future. So let's get into it. So I'm going to begin with the top tier of the unicorn cake. Now I want this top tier to be fairly tall because it is going to be the unicorn head. So what I've done here is baked a vanilla cake using four six inch baking pans. And I've taken each of those cakes and torted them so that we have eight layers. Now I won't be using all eight layers for the top tier, but I will be using five to get a good height on this. And I am also using a simple American buttercream to fill in the layers of the cake. And I'm just putting a generous layer in between each, each one. And of course a generous coating of um, the icing on the outside. And then I will take my bench scraper and just scrape off that excess and, and smooth out the top until I feel like I have a nice smooth surface to work with. Um, and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge to chill for a bit and I will start working on that bottom tier. So for the bottom tier, I have actually have another vanilla cake and this one I've done in three eight inch round pans. So for this one again, I'm just going to fill in the layers. And um, of course I always like to finish with the bottom on top to give it that you know nice flat surface. And I'm gonna give this one a nice crumb coat as well and then get everything smoothed out and get this one ready to pop in the fridge and chill while I work on my smash cake. So for the smash cake, I already have my other three layers of vanilla cake crumb coated and chilled. So I've colored some of my American buttercream in purple, uh, sky blue, as well as a pink. And I don't have to put a final coat on this because I am gonna be doing the rosette design which just gives this an absolutely gorgeous finish, but it's a simple and quick design to do. Now here I'm just finishing up the cupcakes that are going along with this adorable set, and I've used the same three colors of buttercream to just pipe some swirls on top of the cupcakes and then add the unicorn horns and ears to finish these up. So our top tier is chilled, so I'm going to be putting on that final coat now. So I'm just going to apply a generous amount of my American buttercream and this is actually going to be the base of this cake so uh, it will be white so I'm just going to smooth everything out now and just um, clean it up real nice and clean up the top and then I will actually pop it back in the fridge to let it chill for a little longer while I work on the bottom tier of the cake again. So our bottom tier is chilled and out of the fridge. So for this tier, I'm going to be using all three colors again, the same three colors I used for the cupcakes as well as the smash cake. And what I've done is just put my buttercream into a piping bag and just cut a fairly good size hole in the end. Um, I just like the way this gives you good control over the lines you're putting on the cake as the icing is going on. So I've done the, the bottom with purple and then the sky blue in the middle and then the pink on top and on the top sides as well so that it all comes together. And I absolutely love these colors together. Let me know what you all think of these colors. So here I'm just smoothing everything, um, cleaning up the sides with my bench scraper and then taking my offset spatula to just clean up the top. And we're gonna get this nice and smooth and we'll be ready to put the rest of our decor on. Now, I did make some letters out of fondant for the name that's going on the cake and then brushed them with some gold as well. Um, just wanted to let you know that because unfortunately I did not get that on camera, but you will see it here in just a minute as soon as I finish getting this cake smooth and ready to decorate. So there you go guys, there is the gold letters that I put the name on the cake with. And of course I didn't have um, any cutouts that were this large as far as font size. So, you know, I did just um, print out a template and just cut them 
you know, freehand with the, using the template to trace. Um, but it actually turned out pretty good. And here I'm just using some bubble tea straws for the support between my tiers. Uh, I prefer those. And I'm just used five here and I actually like to stick them all the way in and then pull it up and just cut it where that icing finishes. That kind of helps me gauge that. Um, but I've used five here and then put the top tier on. I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is the scariest part of putting tiered cakes together is actually having to sit one tier on top of the other. Let me know what you guys think about that. Is it just me or is that the scariest part for most people? <laughs> so here I'm just um, applying a gold ribbon around the base of the first tier. This is just some gold ribbon that I bought to just kind of go um, tie in to the colors that were going to be on the cake. And I am actually putting in the horns and the ears. And for the set that I bought, I didn't really feel like it had any kind of support on it. So I just actually took some popsicle sticks and adhered them to the back of those pieces with some melted chocolate. And I just felt better about that. I was able to stick those right in the top of the cake and just feel like they were better supported. And then I took my three colors of buttercream, of course, and just made some swirls um, and some little stars for the unicorn's mane. Uh, I think I had a 1M tip actually on the pink um, for the larger swirls and um, then, you know, a, a similar size uh, of a star tip for the additional swirls in the blue and the purple. And the actual set came with black eyes instead of gold. So I did take some gold luster dust and just mixed it with a little lemon extract to form a paint or paste and just painted those eyes gold so that it would uh, coordinate with the rest of the cake as well. So anyway, here I'm just kind of finishing up those last little touches and our cake is done. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you think of that, uh, the colors in there. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos in the future. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time.